things I picked up on was how important technology is and the enabling technologies such as the Internet of Things that will make it happen, which leads us nicely onto our next presentation, which is also about an enabling technology, an enabling technology that a lot of us talk about and read about and hear about, but perhaps don't quite fully understand. Well, hopefully, over the next 20 minutes or so, we'll put that right and shed a little bit of light on the technology that is blockchain. Because our next presentation is entitled Dubai Blockchain Strategy 2020, Progress, Future Plans, Implementation, and Impact to deliver it. Will you please join me in welcoming the Chief Executive Officer of Smart Dubai, His Excellency Wessam Al Abbas Luta. Welcome, Your Excellency. Thank you. Thanks. Assalamu alaikum. Good morning, everyone. Let me actually start by asking all of you here, how many of you is familiar with blockchain? Have used it in the past? That's about maybe 5%. So hopefully we can change this by the end of this presentation. Actually, what I'm here to tell you is that the technology that will have the most impact on your industry has already arrived. And that technology is not the internet, it's not mobile phones, it's not social media, and it's not even big data. That technology is called blockchain. Blockchain. Maybe it sounds unfamiliar or unexciting to, to you, but believe me, this is the technology that has the most promise to revolutionize the real estate sector. And let me dispel a, a misconception about blockchain right from the beginning. So blockchain is not Bitcoin. It is not only meant for uh, financial sectors and banks. It's actually a technology that is sweeping all sectors and is set to create disruptions and innovations across all sectors, including the real estate. Experts say that blockchain will do for transactions what the internet has done to information. That is how big it is envisioned. Some people are calling it the next generation internet. And when you think about it, the internet has really revolutionized the way that we deal with information. Today, people anywhere around the world can exchange safely, easily, very efficiently information. The, the internet had, has unlocked the full potential of information. Millions, actually billions of people are connected to the internet and have access to vast amount of information. And this is the promise that blockchain will do to value to transactions. With blockchain, people will be able to exchange and transfer value, whether that is money, stocks, properties, or even land. That is the promise that blockchain will do. And you can imagine with this what that will do to your industry. As a matter of fact, just to explain a bit how this works, on the internet, if you are transferring information, that could be text, an image, or a video, What's happening actually is that you're transferring a copy of this information. So the original stays with you, and a copy of this goes to, your, uh, to the party that is receiving it. And this is perfectly OK when it comes to exchanging information. It's fine that if I send you a picture, that I keep the original and you get a copy of that picture. But when it comes to value, that doesn't work. So if I'm sending this gentleman here 100 dirhams, he wants to make sure that I don't still have that 100 dirhams to give it to someone else. That's called the double spend problem. And for a very long time, this problem was not uh, solved. For the first time now, a technology and a protocol is already here that allows for this. It allows for me to exchange value, to transfer assets digitally, fully digitally, securely, and efficiently. And that is the promise of blockchain. And as a matter of fact, the world has been watching. We are seeing a huge uptake of this technology. Experts are saying by as soon as 2019, the market value of blockchain would reach $290 billion. Already today, there's over 600 startups that are completely focused on blockchain and its applications. And many of them actually are working in, in the real estate industry. 
and investments are also flowing with over $1.1 billion invested in blockchain in only 2016. And if you look at it as well, many of the leading governments around the world are watching the space, are experimenting with blockchain, whether it is the United States, Singapore, Estonia, Sweden, UK, and even Ghana is actually experimenting uh, uh, with the blockchain. Examples here in Ghana and Sweden, the, the governments are looking at securing uh, land deeds and property registrations on the blockchain. And countries like the US, where the commercial registration or the commerce registry is being put onto a blockchain. However, most of these countries are having a limited scope when it comes to experimenting with blockchain. And many other countries are completely sitting on the sideline and watching what's happening in this space. However, in Dubai, we have chosen to become the global leader when it comes to blockchain. His Highness Sheikh Hamdan bin Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum in late 2016 has announced that Dubai will be the first city fully powered by blockchain in 2020. That is at the time when most of the software vendors have not even released their first version of this software. This is, comes from our belief and the direction of His Highness Sheikh Mohammed for us to do today what others will do in 10 years time. And we are doing this across all sectors with Smart Dubai. And one of these vital sectors, of course, is the real estate sector. In Dubai, we have a vibrant and growing uh, real estate sector as we've heard from His Excellency Marwan in the beginning of uh, the day. Many of you already know that there are many projects has already been de uh, delivered, and these are statistics right off the website of the land department. Over 713 registered developers, five, over 500 projects that are already delivered, and many in the pipeline. 21 billion dirhams is the value registered for projects in 2017. This is such a vital and, a, and an important sector for Dubai. So how are we going to take it to the next level? How will blockchain reinvent the real estate experience as we know it? So let me ask you a question before we can answer this one. What if you can buy property seamlessly and easily? What if you can actually buy a property in your lunch break? What would that do to your industry? What would that do to your business? How is that going to change your work? If you're a broker, if you're a developer, if you're an investor, how is that going to change? What are the opportunities that can happen if you're able to do a property purchase within 15, 20 minutes? Completely with everything. How is that going to change your business? Well, today, that may not be exactly possible. You know, we have uh, done a lot to innovate in the area of uh, the real estate. There's a lot of innovations when it comes to the different entities that are transacting. But today, the process is still requires a bit of optimization. You may need, as, as, uh, at minimum, five different signatures. You may need to talk to your bank, the broker, the developer, and do your registrations. And still, there is quite a bit of documents that are, that are needed. But along with our partners in the real estate industry, we're taking this to the next level. And blockchain is helping this uh, happen. Can you imagine if you are sitting at home, you know, even maybe using your virtual reality uh, headset and watching the different kinds of properties and being fully immersed in this experience? Maybe you're looking at uh, you know, Burj Khalifa apartment and the view from there. Or you're actually maybe deploying a piece of software that goes out and searches for the most optimal property that matches your requirements. All the way from your budget, your, uh, uh, the neighborhood that you want to be in, the uh, amount of space that you want, even down to the color of the marble or even the view from your bedroom. The software will go and try to find the best property for you. And with the click of the bu button, you'll have your choices. And immediately, the financial institutions that you consented to give them your information will be bombard you with options for lending and mortgages. And when you finalize your decision, you, you uh, click, and the whole transaction is done. You are now the proud owner of your new house. And you've done this in the span of 15 minutes. Or maybe it's even your 10th investment property. 
So all of this is done because now the information is decentralized. It's on a blockchain network. It's not being held at one entity. All of the participants, the bank, the escrow, the, uh, the land department, and your broker, and the developer, all share the same information about you, while privacy and security is being uh, protected. And with the use of smart contracts, all of this becomes possible. And not only this, there are now companies, that are like uh, an example here, a new startups called Proof. They are trying to make real estate a liquid asset. It's today, if you want to invest in a property, you still have to have hundreds of thousands, even millions, to invest in property. And we all know property is one of the very good types of investment. If you, can you imagine if that bar is lowered and hundreds and thousands of people are able to invest in property in very small portions? This is the kind of innovation that the blockchain is also bringing to this industry. And there are many, many other benefits. We talked about how blockchain will streamline completely the process and eliminate all the bureaucracy and all the steps that are required and make it as easy as buying a book on Amazon. We talk about how the blockchain will make the transactions very secure. So no longer would be a, you know, document-based forgery and fraud would be possible because now you're digitally identified on the network all the information is shared and authenticated using the highest level of cryptography and security. And finally, transparency. You know, inventories and stocks of different uh, developers, information about the investors, and information about the financial institutions will all be shared and accessible on the blockchain network. So with all of this, streamlining the process, adding the security and eliminating fraud and transparency, Blockchain is going to really revolutionize the real estate as we know it. Not only this, we have been working in Smart Dubai and leading the strategy, uh, looking not only at the real estate sector, but all sectors in the city, whether, whether that's real estate or education, healthcare. So we're working with the Department of Health Authority to put medical records on the blockchain and help secure that, uh, the transfer of, of your medical records from private uh, uh, sector to the public sector from different service providers. With education, KHD has launched an RFP to put information about the schools and make enrollment in the schools much easier and digitized, and across all of these sectors. We have actually a very comprehensive strategy when it comes to achieving this target that His Highness has put for us, to fully digitize the city by 2020. His Highness actually announced in April of this year that Dubai government will celebrate the last piece of paper issued by the government by 2020. So we have quite an ambitious target. And our strategy focuses on three different pillars. The first one I talked about, which is government efficiency and digitizing processes when it comes to interacting with the government. The second pillar is about industry creation and fueling a, an, an ecosystem from developers and, and investors and everyone working in this area, and finally being an international leader. So when it comes to government efficiency, we, we are working obviously with many of our partners. This is, we believe that you know, innovation doesn't come from a vacuum. It comes from collaborating and working closely from, with our partners, whether it is the land department, DUA, RTA, municipality, DTCM, all of them, as you can see here, they have been working with us very closely on reimagining how the city and how the city experiences will happen, uh, along with private sector uh, institutions like Emirates MBD, DO, and others. And with them, we started in early of this, uh, in March of this year, in analyzing what are the best uh, experiences that can, can really take advantage of the blockchain technology. Moving forward from this, and to uh, scoping these use cases, uh, putting the, the requirements, and then floating the RFPs to uh, actually transform these experiences and create pilots within this year, 2017, for a full rollout and full production implementations in early 2018 and, and beyond. And we're not only doing this when it comes to the business process reengineering or reimagining the experiences, we're also putting the right technology that will be able to host this uh, infrastructure. 
So that goes from the servers and the software and the blueprint of the blockchain network that will be hosted here in Dubai. And we are working with two of the biggest companies in, when it comes to this space in blockchain, either Ethereum and uh, Hyperledger. And obviously, with processes being re-engineered and experiences being transformed and uh, technology being available, we did not forget about the regulations and the policies that need to take place to make sure this kind of transformation is legal it is, and, and the rights of both the investors and the developers are protected. This is a new area. Even the uh, landscape of policies and legislations is quite uh, new, so there will be a lot of innovations when it comes to this space. And the second pillar here is industry creation. And what we have been doing here is working in uh, encouraging uh, an ecosystem of developers in blockchain, investors, academia, decision makers within the government, and helping the private sector create this ecosystem. So we have done this year, uh, completed our first round of accelerators uh, focused on blockchain, and we've already signed the contract with the company to execute on this pilot. We've also launched uh, earlier this year a global challenge with over 100 companies applied for this challenge, many of them in the real estate uh, business, and uh, the winners have been awarded in May of this year. We also uh, started a new accelerator, the uh, Dubai Smart City Accelerator, to help in fueling this industry. So we believe that in order to achieve this goal, we have to have a vibrant ecosystem in the private sector. And finally, the last pillar in this strategy is around international leadership. How do we go beyond the implementation here in Dubai and in the UAE to take it all the way to a global uh, stage? So we've been focusing on intellectual property and uh, we have published a number of reports with the United Nations when it comes to a blockchain. We're also working with our partners in consensus launching a new academy for blockchain where we're helping you know, uh, train the new batch of developers that would help all of you create the next generation applications in the real estate industry. And obviously, uh, we're also participating in events like this to kind of uh, send the message out about this new technology and its potential. So, and, and finally, this is a nascent technology. It's, it's important to watch the space. We believe that this holds a lot of uh, opportunity for everyone here. There is quite a lot of prosperity that can be gained by making you know, what internet did for information, allow this to happen for value, and transform the real estate industry. So I encourage you to watch this space and take part with us in this journey. Thank you very much.